Hi darlings, cheers to the new year and the fantastic products I couldn't get enough of in 2023. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have so many products that I've tried over the course of this 2023 year. So I tried to narrow it down to as few as I could that I've really been integrating into my daily routine. So let's start with the powders. First is the Dior Backstage Palette and it's so beat up. This is in 3 in and I absolutely adore it. You can see it gives a nice finish. It is very close to my skin tone. So this has to be one of my absolute favorites face powders in general. The next one that really surprised me is the Shantikai Precious Gold Illuminating Powder. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's not, it's kind of a dual purpose kind of thing because while it is a highlight in its truest form, I feel like it works really well as also like a powder if you wanna illuminate your face from within, look so lit within, I love it. See when I rub it in, it just looks like my skin, but illuminate it. Now imagine putting any type of powder or blush. Oh my gosh, it's the most gorgeous finish. I'm so glad I picked this up. Definitely one of my favorites. Next, we have Hourglass. Now this is in the Snake Palette. This is the number three. This is the one with the newest shades that came out this year. And I have to say, this has been the most surprising thing, okay? As you can see, I have killed this powder because that's another really great powder. And the nice thing about this is that, you know, it's so travel friendly. If you don't want to do a whole lot, do you see how it's got this beautiful tone and a little bit of glistening? These are my two favorites and the bronzer. I think the bronzer is like the perfect color for me. It's rich. It's warm. It's a little toasty. Ugh. And then the powders, the blushes are gorgeous. I don't use them nearly as much. They're extremely pigmented. But as you can see, they are gorgeous. Very shimmery, very illuminating. They're gorgeous shades. Now I will say the pinks kind of do look very similar. Harder to kind of tell the difference between the two, but they're gorgeous nonetheless now one of my favorite bronzers that i've been killing it's like my everyday if i'm not playing with the hourglass it's definitely going to be this one and this is the hermes plain air color atlas bronzer i mean it's got so much product and the h is deeply embedded into the finish so you're always going to see it i really appreciate that as you can see this is the color it's so nice because you can really build it up it's rich it's warm it is my perfect tone i'm going to give you a little more of a swatch so that's it built up it truly is such a nice skin like finish yes it's expensive so if you only have one bronzer that you're going to use all year long this is it it's a hundred dollars but this will last you the whole year if not longer because of how much product is actually in her 0.63 ounces it is a massive thing i use it almost every day since i purchased it um in the summer or even earlier and i'm not even close to hitting pan right I'm telling you it's great some of the really breakout uh, foundations are the say beauty and the danessa myricks now I haven't even reviewed this one yet. Hopefully I'll have it up before this one comes up, but they're like sisters. So the Say Beauty is a tinted moisturizer. This Yummy Skin is a serum foundation, but oh my gosh, your skin looks so, so good um, with this one in particular. They're both beautiful and you really could do either. It just depends on what your vibe is. Do you want something a little lighter? You want a tinted moisturizer? Or do you want a full on foundation? If you do this Denissa Myricks foundation, knock me off my feet. I think it has to be one of my favorite foundations of all my high end foundations. This one kills it. So I love it. Okay. So now let's move on to, let's do blushes. 
So I have two. First one, it is the Chanel from the fall, um, the fall release in beige at Corel. It is this gorgeous, oh, look at this embossment, it's so beautiful. It had little leaves. I have, you know, I've used it a lot, but it is so pretty. And what I love about this one, it's very light, but you can definitely build it up. This is my perfect, like, I'm gonna do a second top. When you need to hurry up and go and you don't wanna like fuss with bronze or blush, all that, eyeshadow you can use this for your eyeshadow you can use this as your blush and you can use it as your bronzer it is fantastic for that it's an everyday kind of wear thing and it's a little ashier in texture than the one i'm going to show you next but i have really enjoyed this i think it is so beautiful so gorgeous i'm so glad i picked this color because i've been loving it this one is the chanel it's the Fantasy de Chanel. This was the collection that everybody was so excited for, was running out to get. It's that gorgeous pink color. I am wearing a little combination of the pink and the Et Corel on my cheeks now. And oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Like there was a reason why it was a hit. It's because it was amazing. And as you can see, it's very light, but oh, the radiance is so freaking gorgeous. And so I have to say of the two blushes, of the blushes I've collected over this year, these two are my favorites. And that's why all the embossment is already gone because I really have been enjoying these two this year. Next category is going to be, I believe, let's do eyeshadows. So of the eyeshadows, gosh, and I have a lot, okay? So this was a release from Chanel Also Fall Collection. This is in the color 406. It was their single eyeshadows with this very interesting tip. But you know what, guys? I actually really loved this. I thought this was a really excellent, excellent. A lot of people were not excited. They didn't love it as much, but I actually found these to be quite beautiful. Do you see that radiance? Oh, and you can just, put it on your eye, you have an easy one and done. I thought these were fantastic. And in this color in particular, it was like a perfect one and done shade for me. So I really enjoyed these. These are limited edition, but I'm pretty sure they're still on their website. Fantastic, okay? If you like an easy one and done, and this actually isn't very hard to maneuver. If anything, it's very easy to get into the curvature of your, your eye so you can really get into those little crevices. So I loved it. My next one is, of course, the Chantecaille Radiant Eye Gold Shimmer. I'm wearing it now in the inner corner of my eye. I think this was so gorgeous. Chantecaille really killed it this year for me in regards to like their releases, their drops. This was such a gorgeous finish. I do use it quite a bit, even though I've only had it for a few months, but it really is so beautiful. Look at that sheen. Oh, and it just, it layers so nicely. It really is statement. It's a statement eye look without being too much. You know, as you mature, you know, you don't want something that's going to cause attention or bring attention to your, you know, certain fine lines and things like that. But this does not do that. It is so gorgeous. Let's stay on the Chantecaille tip. So I bought this eye mermaid, this mermaid eye color in copper. So pretty. And once again, you have that gorgeous sheen, a beautiful one and done. As you can see, there's a theme here. I love me some one and dones because sometimes I don't really want to spend a lot of time doing my makeup, but I always want to look put together. And these three have really wowed me in that area. Now another, a few other brands that I've tried for the first time, um, the Clay Depot. They had a new formulation this year and this is in coral sands and they are gorgeous 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 palettes and uh, the finish was beautiful they have that gorgeous primer that is so lovely and this is like your perfect like nude color it's truly like this is the primer it's gorgeous these shades 
And when I've showed you guys, when I've worn these colors, you've always asked me like, what is that palette? What are you wearing? It's Clay de Poe. It's the Warm Sands. It's gorgeous. The formula is so beautiful. And it really is so flattering to women who are starting to, you know, have a little crepiness or you're a little drier than you used to be. Like it's going to come to us all right. The next is their, oh my gosh, this... <laughs> eyeshadow quad but the packaging was just superb the mermaid the underwater mermaid i could not get over how gorgeous this packaging was and then we go ahead and see these gorgeous colors i was really surprised clay de poe tends to keep it very safe and these colors were like <laughs> not so safe and definitely so gorgeous i get enough of these colors so very soft but so buildable so wearable loved okay let's talk about about two things in the eye quarter category so we have the rare beauty um what is it eyebrow gel now the crazy thing is this was a limited edition but i don't know why it's such a great staple piece like why wouldn't this be part of the the line this is my favorite rare beauty product period it's gorgeous in the way that it holds your eyebrows it keeps everything in place it is just has a firm like firm stickiness without being too sticky i mean for summertime you worry about your eyebrows running if you have you know various products on it but this holds and it keeps all the products in place i mean i'm holding on to for dear life because you know it's it goes so fast but also it's supposed to be limited edition i don't know it needs to be permanent but i enjoy that so much i can't go back to anything else i need them to come back with that please thank you the next thing that surprised me is the ysl lash clash and the thing that i love about this most is it's in the color brown and i have the black one as well but the brown in particular i just love like i have it underneath well i'm actually using it on both top and bottom but it gives your lashes the most fluffiest beautiful lashes and i was all into like the huda beauty one the one in pink the, the wow mascara but i don't know the last one i purchased it was getting all clumpy it was very weird um the second bottle that i purchased i wasn't a big fan of and so yeah that's why i'm not putting it on this you know what i love the most but the ysl this is my second bottle and i'm equally as happy with it as i was prior now i do have this mix with the Le volume de chanel because you know that's my jam i will never not wear it because it just gives me a little oomph but this is gorgeous and you could wear it on its own i'm just extra but i love it. okay so now we are down to oh i forgot one Tom Ford, duh. Tom Ford is one that I actually um, tried this year. Um, I decided to give them a second chance and I'm so glad I did because this is one of them. This is Hazy Sensuality and I have gone over a video with this one and the reason why I love it so much is this does double as a blush. This is the wet and dry formula. It, ugh, gorgeous, okay? Tom Ford, I was so pleasantly surprised about these eyeshadows like i can't get enough this is also another beautiful neutral cool tone palette that truly is so gorgeous for so many skin types i love 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 and i found myself using it a lot this year especially that blush color okay let's talk about lips i got a lot i got a lot of lip products let's let's take a little sip because i gotta go over these real quick okay most of these i'm gonna tell you right now are dior Dior's lip products are my favorite. They are amazing. Whether it be the lip glow, which I have just about all of the lip glows. I think the only one I don't have is the orange one, but I definitely have the cherry. I have all the pink ones. And to me, if you're going to do the pink, just do cherry. Do the darkest one because they don't show up. These, however, are amazing. This is mahogany. This is Rosewood, which is very neutral. Mahogany gives you this rich brown color. And then the Berry is a beautiful purpley pinky color, which is just my jam. I think it's so flattering. I went with deeper medium to deep skin tones. Now, Le Bombs. Now, I do really love these. Now, it's in two colors. I have it in 
930 sweet treat and pink delight 928 which this one was all the rage with sophia ritchie um so this color is very pretty it is pretty um sheer like you're not gonna see a whole lot of pigmentation with it but it does have a really pretty um glossy finish it's a little bit like pinky peachy kind of color it, it really is pretty and what's nice about these balms is that they really are just like so hydrating and it's just a hint of color to your lips now sweet treat has to be the one that i've used the most it's this gorgeous brownie pinky color oh so stinking cute so pretty and you know these are my two favorites like i've worn them so much then we have the dior addict shades which I have quite a few of these. These are just two of my newest ones. Um, but this is in uh, Shimmering Hazelnut. And this is my newest one, which is Nude Bloom. And I have another one coming. I know. I will do a little short of it when it comes. But yeah, I have been loving these. Once they reformulate it and it's not so tingly, I have been loving these. I can't get enough. And I will keep buying them. As many times as I see the beautiful colors that they come out with because I think the product is just fantastic one of my favorite um, Dior products is this um, is the the Rouge Dior forever liquid and this is in the color 100 what I love about this color is that it is a true nude and I feel like any kind of shade that like maybe too glossy like if I if I have like um, I'm trying to think of a lipstick that's a little too emollient I'm trying to think of one that I have I have many I can't think of it right now but anytime I have something that's too emollient and I want it to stop I use this and it's perfect because it almost doesn't have any color to it so it kind of keeps that um, the color that it is and just kind of hugs it and holds it and since if you match it with an emollient it's gonna be like the perfect feel like it'll be not too drying because this is a liquid it'll be like your perfect so like if this became too emollient i can add this throw it on and it wouldn't look much different i love the dior velvet this is in the color 925 and 200 gorgeous colors gorgeous so 200 is really nude and i i'm showing you because i don't think i've ever showed you guys these the others i have showed you in in other videos um with the lip oils and then this is 925 pink peony and i just love them i think they're gorgeous finishes it is the most one of the most comfortable um mattes you will ever try they're buttery they're creamy they're just gorgeous and they make your lips look so yummy and full so gorgeous a surprise little uh you know a breakout is uh the sephora um gel lip liners now this is in the color creme de la creme but it's so pretty it is like a perfect peachy nude color i know this looks very similar but it is very different but it's so pretty it really is such a nice flattering color i don't know why it's coming out looking very pinky nude right now but i swear it definitely looks peachy in real life and then the chantecaille lip still in rose quartz love 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 i mean just look at it so pretty so pretty i can't stand it and it's that beautiful pinky purple that i can't get enough of so like for instance i was telling you about the dior forever so i have that there i'm gonna put it next to it and add the nude and then you're going to see how nice it looks on top so it doesn't change the color too much but you can see it takes away some of that emollient so if i wanted to wear that color but without it being you know too much it's like a perfect combination there you have it those are my favorites those are the new products that i have tried this year that have my heart that i've been getting so much use out of it that i've been loving this year long i mean geez i mean i could live off of these products for the next year or so but you know there's going to be amazing new products coming i do have some things coming I'm not going to tell you exactly, but I got some new releases, perhaps from Chanel. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, you may want to, so you can catch all my videos because I 
upload as much as I'm able, but I do try to catch many of the important releases, like especially from Chanel. That's my favorite brand, so I'll always be reviewing them. But now I have so many more that I love. Chantecaille, Glade Up Bow, you know, we got so many. But it's been a good year, guys. Cheers. And yeah, I'll catch you in 2024 with some new and amazing products. All right, darlings, have a great day, a wonderful week, and I'll catch you in the next one.